Hello everyone, welcome to the channel Rad here from Radfu Tarot and this is going to be Libra Sun, Libra Moon and Libra Rising weekly Tarot and Lenormand reading for October 15th to October 20, uh, 21st 2018 and uh, while I'm shuffling the cards uh, I will take a few moments guys to tell you that this is just a general reading for Libra Star Sign and this is not your personal reading therefore uh, in this uh, in this video I will try to explain you as best as I can the meanings of the cards, their synergy in the spread, but uh, to make sense of them that falls to you and to align them to your personal situation. Now if you want me to do that for you, well that will be a subject then of a personal reading and for personal readings please check out my website which is listed down below in the description of this video and there you're going to find a, a full list of my services as well as their pricings. So now let's get the cards and uh, let's see what we got. The first, uh, we're gonna go with the tarot spread first, four card spread and the first position is showing us the topic of your Libra's week. The second position will be about the core of the situation. The third position is the challenges that are going to cause predicaments and the last position is about the guidance that Tarot is offering to you Libras. So let's see what we got here shall we. Now the first position that will be the judgment card, a very broad card on its own uh, and especially as a topic of the week because what the ju judgment represents is the wake-up call that everybody has once in a while you know when one realizing that well, for example, certain things are not quite right around them and they need desperately to make something out of it or something about it as well. But in the grand scheme of things, what the judgment represents is that you Libras are going to find a way through. Basically, that is what the card represents. And most of the time, this uh, way through is found uh, through changing how one thinks, changing the mindset. So how this could manifest is, for example, one could realize that even though satisfied at this very moment, one is not exactly very happy. Therefore, one has to do something about it to make some steps forward in a certain direction so one can provoke difference to take place and through that difference one to seek their happiness. The judgment also could manifest as appearance of a, of a new child, pregnancy, you know, finding your job, finding a new suitor. It's basically, it is basically a change, all right, change in one status, but it, it is not as deep change as the, um, as for example, the death or the tower card. It is more like change through development, kind of like you you know what your direction is, uh, but the means and the way how uh, how needs to be achieved maybe uh, it's it's kind of like blocked at this very moment. And throughout that week, um, uh, Libras is how you're gonna find the true path how to achieve that goal. If that make if that makes sense, all right. <clears throat> So it's not like a uh, complete uh, 180 degrees change of your life. It is more like, you know, change in perspective here that we do have. But the very least, the judgment card is pointing that something good is about to happen uh, this week and the week after uh, as well. And most likely is going to lead to a certain combination completion as well. <clears throat> But it is important when we do have the judgment card to kind of seize the moment because the judgment is like the whisper, all right? It's like a whisper of the universe itself and only those who are most keen for making a difference are to answer the call because that is going to be a wake-up call. So wake up, Libras, and kind of like um, analyze your situation. Ask yourself, are you happy where you stand even though satisfied all right and if you are not happy even though satisfied what you can do to provoke your happiness i mean ask yourself where your happiness lies and what you can do to um to make it happen because you can do it it all comes to that are you going to listen to the call of the universe and uh 
What we do have as the core of the situation, where well, what I said about the satisfaction and the happiness falls with a full extent here with the Queen of Cups because the situation, the core is like this, you know, even though, as I said, even though satisfied, your emotions may not be exactly synchronized with what's going on right now because the Queen of Cups, it's more like um, being very passive about the situation at this very moment, waiting for the right time to come, knowing that your hour is going to bell at a certain point. But also the queen always kind of listens her her emotions always listens what the queen feels and through those emotions the queen is finding herself transcend and transform. Therefore what I do suspect from those couple of cards here is that you are going to define a, a new path for yourself for happiness for kind of like finding a new hobby new person to spend time with you know a new project a job that will truly enthrall you etc etc now throughout the the elemental dignities these cards does not cope very well together and so um, what that means is that one could uh, be uh, one one could draw in their emotions contemplating upon them missing entirely the moment when one should take a certain action um, therefore as much as it is important to define where your happiness lies throughout the week it will also be important to be vigilant for the opening that will be presented to you because that opening will be very short in, in a, with a very short duration here and you kind of have to seize the moment so you need to be um, vigilant for that wake-up call that we do have here and as we said that they don't cope very well through elemental dignities when the moment come you need to be very determinate with your actions no matter what you feel inside and the uh, challenges which are going to cause predicaments here that will be the death card so what we said about the change here that the um, the judgment it is not the ultimate change that one thing it is it is mostly change changing the method, the mindset, and the means how one should achieve a certain goal. So um, uh, what we do have here are your expectations, all right? And your expectations will be challenged. And the expectations that you're gonna have is to make a, a huge difference, all right? <clears throat> in uh, in the impact of your life and how the life stands but what we do have here is more of a short it's more of a long-term development of uh, you know of a restructuring of one's life so you may find yourself a little bit disappointed of the results that uh, you are going to achieve throughout the week but yet we do have the core as a, a passive card and you can't expect any more than what you can um, than what you can manifest throughout the week either through restrictions and don't forget that the window of opportunity is going to be rather short as well so uh, you can do just so much throughout the week but the very first steps the very foundation of your future unfoldment and development is going to be placed at that week and as i said it's going to be a with a sh with a long-term duration as long as you kind of seize that <clears throat> window of opportunity just don't expect that the things are going to sort themselves uh, for over a night and also when we talk about the death card here it will be rather very difficult for you to kind of abandon certain positions because maybe that um, that new development of yours new way of developments of yours into the same uh, field of expertise relationship or whatever you know will require from you to abandon certain standpoints and certain position so it's kind of like it's going to require from you to make a certain sacrifice and that sacrifice could come out challenging and uh, uh, let me let me tell you one sentence about the death card so that may make you easier to understand so uh, you need to ask yourself what is change and how I take it is that what is change but a life begins after ending and what is life but a death pending 
so basically everything comes and goes and a certain positions that you are adopting they are kind of outdated if you want to have the full extent of what you are expecting all right and therefore you have to make the process running of changing your certain positions and certain standpoints giving you an example straight away you want to be uh, involved into that grand project of your company but right now you know right now you are kind of occupying your time with smaller projects and also you are uh, assigned in a different department although you will have the small window opportunity for that reassignment of a new department and of course what you have to sacrifice is your current position of those small projects that are still giving you benefits all right we are saying here that you will be settled but not emotionally satisfied all right so literally this is how uh, this this is in, in the grand scheme of things how the week is going to go forward and the last card is about the guidance that the, the tarot offers you we do have the knight of wands and the knight of wands asks you to be very active throughout the week you know you, you need to constantly search for a way of improvement now the problem with the knight of wands is that this knight quickly burns out and somewhat the knight doesn't have much of a staying power in a sense of that um, you know the knight kind of like discovers a, a new a new enterprises which are making him feel good and feel you know enthralled and interesting and etc etc but as soon as those enterprises are giving him a, a little a rough time he quickly drops off and tries to search for a new enterprises and that is something that you shouldn't do when it comes to the Knight of Wands. But this card asks you to search for this window of opportunity and as soon as you find it, you have to push with all you got through it. All right? It's basically don't try to make it the easy way around, but push with all you got through it. So that was uh, the uh, tarot reading here for you Libras for the upcoming week and it does look like that that will be a week of a major breakthrough as long as you know you are agile enough to um, abandon a certain radical standpoints and un outdated views as well. So let me shuffle now the Lenormand cards and what they're going to show us is a event that you should either look forward to or uh, try to avoid. Now let me, let me cut them off and uh, let's see what we got. Now we do have the key and the key stands for opening or closing. It stands for discovery as well. Now the next one, this is going to be the snake. The snake stands for cleverness. It stands for betrayal. It stands for enemy as well. And the last one, this is going to be the cross. The cross stands for suffering. The cross stands for uh, sorrow. It basically start, stands for poignancy. So uh, that will be a little bit off the topic of the tarot reading and what these cards are pointing that you are going to discover a, a enemy of yours a traitor that is going to be in the close circle of yours because we do have the um, the cross which is going to cause you a, a big portion of disappointment and um, suffering to a certain extent because you ask yourself how this person could have done it whatever they did in the past that you are unaware of. So be ready for a, a shocking discovery here about someone that is close to you, someone that you have placed a, a great hope side that they have, they were betraying, they still betrays and they will betray your hopes further into the future. So that being said, Libras, this was your weekly Tarot and Lenormand reading for October 15th to October 21st, 2018. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys. And again, this was just a general reading for Libra Star Sign. And therefore, I have did my best to explain you the meanings of the cards, their synergy in the spread, but unfortunately forced to you to make sense of them and to align them to your personal situation. Now, if you want me to do that for you guys, well, that is a subject of a personal reading. And for personal readings, please check out my website, which is listed down below in the description of this video. And there you are going to find a full list of my services as well as their pricings. Rat signing out now. See you next time. Bye.